subordinate as an as a noun uh, those who are under the command of someone else are his subordinates to subordinate is to to make less in rank that's the Latin meaning of uh, than someone else a subordinate clause in grammar is a dependent clause uh, is not the main clause it is under in rank the main clause or the independent clause subsequent means following after the subsequent events showed that he was right uh, but no one believed him the events that followed after good subservient is sim similar to submissive but it's more is stronger if I'm subservient towards someone perhaps I'm obsequious I think we had that before maybe in my manners that is so oh, you're always right yes sir yes sir anything you want sir I'm, I'm more than submissive I'm uh, subservient or obsequious to subside is to calm down the storm uh, started and then it subsided substantiate is to make stronger I uh, substantiate my claim <coughs> to do something I make it stronger uh, I substantiate my uh, claim to some some money I bring evidence that shows that I have a right to that money maybe substitute a noun or a, a verb the noun is more used uh, this is a substitute for that we don't have the desired object or the desired person so you will have to accept this substitute in its place I can substitute one thing for another thing the verb <coughs> use in its place subterranean under the earth uh, subterranean sound subterranean uh, activity taking place under the earth subtract to draw away of course f five uh, if I subtract two from five I have three <coughs> suburb very important for you the towns that lie outside a main city uh, I guess Suwon used to be a uh, suburb of Seoul and is more and more part uh, as the as cities sprawl or grow out um, they absorb the suburbs in America suburban life is a special form of life suburban people who live in the suburbs <coughs> special mentality um, not very admirable really uh, to subvert is to turn under to subvert something is to turn it under um, I've never seen the word used succession is that which will follow or follows uh, several victories followed in succession followed one after another <coughs> succession to the throne that is the king dies and is succeeded by succeeded by someone else uh, the succession takes place rare word to succumb is to yield to he succumbed to death yielded to death after a long struggle he succumbed to the other person's uh, strength yielded suffocation uh, if I suffocate someone I cover the person's uh, face so the person can't breathe he died of suffocation not in a fire for example uh, some people are burned to death in a fire but most in a large fire die of suffocation die because the smoke um, prevents them from breathing suitable that which is suitable is appropriate suitable behavior suitable dress is appropriate for the situation <coughs> sometimes laughter is suitable sometimes laughter is unsuitable <coughs> a serious situation to sulk is to pout sulk is the better word pout is the word that's more used <coughs> uh, typically when we hear no children but adults too we sulk 
we pout, I'm not happy with you. Children sulk or pout when they hear no. Sullen, I'm unhappy, uh, but it's not a nice state. Uh, he was sullen in his attitude, in his behavior. Uh, that is, uh, he was not happy and he made sure that others knew it. Uh, sullen even implies an, an ugly facial expression. It's not as strong as scowl, less strong than scowl, but it shows displeasure. A uh, summon is more important as a verb. If I summon someone, uh, I call that person to me. Good. Superficial having to do with the surface of things. <clears throat> a superficial intelligence deals only or is too impressed with the surface of things. Does not look closely enough. Um, the press is often accused of being super accused of being superficial in its treatment of everything, and probably it's true. Journalists are never specialists of anything, uh, but our culture is directed by journalists on one level or another, and no wonder our thinking is superficial about things. A superficial wound on the surface, uh, not deep. Generally, superficial means not deep. Supersede means to take precedence over something. Uh, the new version of the book supersedes the old versions. That is, the old versions are now obsolete, no longer valid. The new version supersedes them. To supervise is to look over, to watch over uh, in a position of authority. He supervised the um, project, means he had control of the project and he he was the boss uh, and we went to him as the supervisor or to her um, for instructions to supplant is to take the place of very good word uh, one thing supplants another thing in the public attention that is soon uh, Bush will be president presumably and other stories will supplant that story in our interest and become the front page stories. Uh, most interesting, it seems to me, uh, only a year ago we were all very worried. Uh, some people thought the world was going to end uh, because of Y2K. How quickly this story was supplanted in our interest so that uh, I even had trouble thinking Y2K? What was it? Y2K? What? Um, perfect example for me, at least, of how fickle and how superficial our attention span and interest is. Um, surge, rise up. Uh, a sur the anger surged in him when he heard this. Rose up quickly. Uh, surly, similar to sullen. Uh, he is surly in his manners. <laughs> Uh, very unpleasant to be around. Sullen, surly. Similar, though not identical. Surmise is to guess. I surmise that, similar to conjecture. We did that a long time ago. Uh, noun also. A conjecture, a surmise. Uh, but these are simply more elegant words to mean guess. A surplus is an excess. A surplus of, of rice this year means that the prices of rice will be very low. There's so much of it. Surreptitious, good. Uh, secretive. He was surreptitious uh, in his behavior, that is, uh, sneaking around behind our backs. Um, but he can laugh in a surreptitious manner, too. That is, <laughs> no one sees him. Secretive. Survival, of course, to survive. The survival of the human race is always questionable uh, because of the presence of uh, nuclear weapons uh, and the proliferation, prolific, many, proliferation of nuclear weapons is a huge danger to the survival of our race, of our species. Suspense, people usually mean it... Uh, there is still some suspense about who will be the new American president. 
that is, it's still in doubt, and we wonder. A suspense novel, uh, who did it? Who done it, as we used to say, uh, slang, meaning we don't know, and we wonder, and we're curious, more than curious, we're concerned. The suspense is killing me, uh, one expression people say, meaning I, I'm, I'm so curious, I'm bursting to know something. To sustain is to, uh, to keep up, hold up, literally, Latin, again, almost all of these. Uh, to sustain one's interest in something is difficult. Uh, that is, uh, we become interested in something, but uh, then our interest uh, wanes or dies, and we become interested in something else. Sycophant, good. A fit sycophant is a subservient, uh, obsequious person who always flatters uh, another person. Uh, people in power are always surrounded by sycophants, uh, people who will be ready to say, oh, you're wonderful and everything you say is right, very quickly. No wonder they, they overestimate their own uh, abilities or intelligence or whatever, or looks. Good word. Synchronize is to make happen at the same time. Uh, we synchronize our watches, that is, we set our watches for the same time. We synchronize our efforts so that uh, we do the same thing at the same time. Synonym, of course, is a word which means roughly the same thing as another word. But we must remember there is no such thing as a perfect synonym. Uh, just like two people don't uh, are not exactly alike, two words are not exactly alike. So these are rough, roughly similar, um, not identical. Tact is insight into how things work or how people work. Uh, for example, if you are very proud of your shirt, and I think your shirt makes you look ridiculous, with tact, if I have tact, I don't say, boy, that's a ridiculous shirt. I say, mm, I'm glad you like your shirt, but perhaps some people won't like your shirt. I'm showing tact. I'm being tactful. Uh, so to be tactful means to be considerate and gentle, not rude. Tactile means that which can be touched uh tactile tact literally means touch uh in latin tactile can be touched tangle means wound up together my my um cassettes get tangled sometimes the strings get tangled the threads get tangled rope gets tangled my my telephone cord gets tangled up tardy means late uh, he was tardy for his uh, appointment. Taunt, good word, even used in sports, means to make fun of, to laugh in the person's face, to say, oh, you are such a fool. Uh, this is after the other person has lost. Uh, I don't taunt a winner. I taunt a loser, a person who has been defeated. Uh, the winner of the presidential election will be very tactless and rude if he taunts the loser or if anyone else taunts the loser either because both have fought the good fight in this case I think um, but it's going too far technology is simply uh, machinery that becomes more and more uh, technical can do more and more things but we do well to remember that there's a distinction between technology and science technology is not science uh, science literally thinks about things that are important. Technology simply makes little changes, even big changes, in machinery.